This one goes out to our bestie, Mr. Don Peabody. Love you, Don. Deadly Trench, the girl coming to you from my studio. Today we are going to be talking about some of the differences between the Gila Monster and a larger lizard that many people mistake as a giant Gila, oh look at you, known as the Beaded Lizard. Yeah, come here. Come here. Good stuff. So Gila Monsters are one of the Gila monsters are the only venomous lizard of North America. <laughs> so cute. So these reside in the wild in the American Southwest down into Mexico. Oh my gosh. So they are egg eaters as you can tell. And their favorite thing in the world is the fresh eggs from my chickens and my ducks. So you can see they go absolutely gaga and sometimes they even eat the eggshell a little bit, not a whole lot. They can't eat it whole, so I crack it for them. They are carnivorous, so they eat eggs as well as small mammals and lizards and things like that. Mine primarily eat small rodents and farm fresh eggs. They are very cute, so they have a modified beaded scale. They are orange and black, as you can see. They are almost perpetually in shed, so they always kind of have that blue look to them. And they are just very crusty and dusty, which they're desert animals. They just are very cool. Their claws are very long and sharp. In the wild, as you might imagine, they get filed down as they're kind of like crawling through the desert and climbing up rocks and stuff like that. We actually trim the nails of our heliderms. Otherwise, they kind of like curl around and get all gnarly and weird and um, ultimately it makes their foot not able to rest properly. So this is one of my younger heliderms, and it's very, very cute. Oh my goodness. So you can see they have these little jowls, and that's actually where their venom glands are. And they do hiss and gape their mouths and put on quite a little show if they get upset or worried about something, which is very cool and fun to watch. To be clear, this is a venomous lizard and I do not recommend free handling and they are protected as well. So if you see one in the wild, definitely uh, get out your cameras and your phones and photograph it, but do not touch it. Um, in fact, you can get in big trouble for even moving them off the road, which is kind of sad, but it's the truth. Moving on to its bigger cousin. This is a cousin to the Gila monster. This is a horridum or a beaded lizard. This one is a horridum horridum, which is one of the larger species. They have yellow spots versus the horridum exasperatum, which is the other species that I keep that is much more orange. Like the Gila monster, these also love eating eggs as well as small little birds and such. And so ours eat uh, chicken eggs, duck eggs, and they eat small rodents and birds, whatever we give them. They are excellent eaters. They are venomous. Their venom is an anticoagulant. So if you do ever get bitten by a Gila or a beaded, it's gonna be a very bloody bite. They are known for their very powerful jaws. So this is not a bite that you would ever want to intentionally get. Obviously, proficient keepers use uh, proper tools and mentor under someone for a long time before they ever begin handling or dealing with any venomous animals. So these, like the Gila monsters, have a beaded scale, except that it's even more extreme and they grow to be about twice the size of a Gila monster, which is really, truly incredible. They're a beautiful animal and one that I really, really enjoy working with. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this Gila's versus Beaded video. This one goes out to our bestie, Mr. Don Peabody. Love you, Don. I hope you guys enjoy the beginning of the winter solstice. Hopefully you're not freezing your buns off. Stay warm out there and we'll see you guys next time.